Welcome back, folks. I'm Jake Ellenbogen. It's been a little bit. Uh, there hasn't been a ton of news, so there hasn't been a ton of videos. But before we dive into it, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Also, be sure to follow me on all social media at JK Bogan. Now, let's get started. So, uh, the top 51 rule, I want to kind of go over here before we get into this because the Rams have signed their draft class now. Everything is all taken care of, and that's a good thing, right? Everyone signed. They were just waiting on Jared Verse. Now the entire draft class has been signed. Um, with that said, you know, we have an idea now of what the cap is going to look like for the Rams, what the, the cap space implications are. Um, currently, according to Over the Cap, the Rams have $10.3 million in cap space remaining. Um, important thing here. <clears throat> I mentioned top 51. What is top 51? Well, for those of you who don't know, during the offseason, when the roster does expand to 90, uh, top 51 essentially is the opportunity uh, to bring on 90 players and only have the top 51 contracts count against the cap. This is what you kind of have to do if you're expanding the roster and you're not going to keep it that way. It's just temporarily. Now, because it's 51 and not 53, there are still two contracts that will need to be added based on what the you know 53 man roster looks like. The top 51 only applies to the off season. So to kind of explain that, right now the two guys that don't count against the cap currently but would probably count against the cap or rather they would count against the cap if they were the two that were um, you know, the extra two that were added onto those 51 when the season started, Jason Taylor, the second with 915 K and Deswan Johnson with 915 K. Okay. Now, um, that's total money. Their cap hit would be 939 and 934 respectively. So let's just round it up and we're going to say it's about $2 million. So in reality, the Rams have about $8 million in cap space once the season starts. They can do some things. Obviously, we know about Matthew Stafford's impending deal, what that could bring to the table. They can do some things with the deals, with the contracts. They can restructure some guys. But all in all, the Rams are going to have about $8 million in cap space <clears throat> for the whole year. And that is something to keep in mind. So if they go out and they make a move or whatever, keep in mind they need that money to be able to essentially bring guys off the practice squad onto the 53-man roster, make moves if there's an injury or anything like that. $8 million isn't a ton, but it gives you a little bit of wiggle room. And if they need more, they can obviously find ways to get more, if you will. Um, 190 million of the cap space is going towards the offense, um, defense, 80 million, and then special teams, 3.4 million. Um, the reality of the situation is this. This is a good football team. Like I've said, they've got really good talent. They are cap compliant, so they don't have to worry about making all these moves to just get under the cap before the, um, you know, the season starts. <clears throat> what I find interesting here is that, you know, they already got all these guys signed and normally the Rams take a while to sign their um, their draft picks, if you will. And they're always they wait until the last second and then they sign all of them all at once. That wasn't what happened this year. Um, Verse took a little bit longer. Fisk was signed, you know, at a different time than some of the others. So interesting stuff there and the important thing here is if you're taking this for grant and you're saying well obviously they were going to sign their draft picks I used to do that and then I remembered you know we saw Joey Bosa we've seen other you know prospects in the past draft picks that have pushed against the traditional you know contract and whether that was on Joey Bosa his camp or the team is quite honestly irrelevant. The point I'm making is you can never just assume. And Joey Bosa, newsflash, it wasn't really him. It was the way the Chargers were wording the deal. His agent didn't like it, stepped into it. And of course, they were able to come to a deal 
and sign him his rookie year. Jared Verse signed with the Rams. Now there's no worries, and that's a good thing. This is not something that you should be taking for granted. The Rams legitimately have zero worries now based on guys that will you know come back, re-sign all that. It's very rare. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it can be crippling to have a rookie holding out, a guy that you just spent draft capital on holding out before the season. And so it's good that they took this, you know, they took care of this. Um, Obviously, we've been hearing some good things about pretty much all the rookies when you think about it in camp. And I'm just so excited now to see this draft class. I'm excited to see this team. It's going to take a while, though. I mean, let's be honest here. We're in May. We're getting to June. It, It might fly by, but... You know, we still have June, July, and then August. And then finally, right around the end of August, you start, you know, you're drafting your fantasy football teams. You're starting to think about next year a little bit more. And then all of a sudden, next year just kind of hits you right in the face, which is a good thing. Um, So we're really excited about that. Obviously, we all share a common interest there. Unless you're just not excited about Rams football, then I don't really know what to tell you. But my overall thoughts on this are... You know, breathe a, uh, a sigh of relief, even if you didn't really feel like there really was any reason to do so. Um, this can always be a problem. It's possible. And the fact that it's not going to uh, and it's relatively painless is a good sign. Um, obviously, you know, if it wasn't, then we'd be talking about that, too. But it's better to talk about good news uh, than bad news. And the reality is, right now, the Rams have a lot going for them. I know there are going to be people asking, well, what about Stafford? What about Stafford? There's nothing on Stafford, so I can't really say anything there. Uh, But getting your rookie signed this early on, I like it. Everything's good. Verse is there. And now we'll see what they can do uh, in their first season in the NFL. Um, But... That's all I got for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this or, you know, learned a little something or, you know, whatever. Um, Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you haven't already. And also, I just want to throw it out there. Yes, I have an NFL channel. It's in the comments, uh, the the, the description um, below. I have it linked. And I'm going to be putting more out there on that. But I also am back to gaming on kick. And for those of you who don't care, totally understand. Don't worry about it. But for those of you who want to hang out, maybe ask some questions, do late night streaming, uh, watch me, you know, play some video games and just chat. um, That's your opportunity. You'll always get a notification when you sign up for our discord, which is entirely free. But if you don't, I'll still always try to post in the community tab on YouTube uh, where you can find me. Link will be posted in the description below, kick.com slash jkbogan if you want to check that out. Also on that channel, won't be happening during the off season as much, but as we get through the season, kick will also have... Uh, those film breakdowns, I'll be doing those on kick. So um, obviously, because YouTube will copyright claim me. So that's that. Uh, Would really appreciate you guys following. We're at 854 uh, followers on kick. So we're almost at a thousand trying to get to verified status. Um, So we'll, we'll see what we can do there. But appreciate everyone hanging out last night was definitely a, a, you know, big uh, success, I thought. So I'm going to be doing that more and more. Also, YouTube content will continue to come out, so don't worry, the kick won't interfere with that. And uh, if you just happen to be a Yankees fan watching this, also be sure to check out my Yankees channel, uh, Yankees Unloaded. Um, I'm doing that with Gary Sheffield Jr., and we're starting to grow. We're almost at 600 uh, subscribers. So um, appreciate everybody, and uh, I'll talk to you guys real soon. Take care, folks. Later. Do you love talking about the Rams, the NFL, or just want to be a part of a community? Join my free Discord server today. We're over 800 members. We got 24-7 live chat, a level 3 boosted server, the ability to call into JE Live, playing online games with us on kick streams, toggleable alerts for when I go live on YouTube or kick so you don't miss a live stream, and exclusive giveaways. Click the link in the description, the comments section, or the link that comes up in the video to learn more and join today.